Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to extract data or filter data based on a drop down list selection in Excel. So here I have a dummy data set with the product name in column B, sales rep name in column C and country name in column D. I also have a drop down list here in I2 uh, with a unique country names. So there are eight unique country names from this list. And the idea is that as soon as I select a country, the record for that country should get extracted here in this list. So let me show you as soon as I select India, all the records for India get extracted here. So I have product 1, then I have product 5, then product 8, product 13, and product 20. And when I change the country, this list changes accordingly. So I now only have the records for China. Now you may think that I can do this, this thing by applying a filter on this data set. But applying filter has two drawbacks first is that I would have to play with the original data but in this case my original data gets intact remains intact and the second is that if in this case when I filter these data set in a separate location my cell reference is continuous so I have China in M4 and M5 and now if I change this to India I would have uh, India in M4, M5, M6, M7 and M8 while in this case India would always be in D4 even if I apply a filter uh, these reference would not be continuous which means that I cannot use this data if I'm feeding this in a chart while I can use this to make dynamic charts or formulas so now let me show you how I have done this. I have in this another field, another sheet, I have uh, the same data set and I'll show you how I created it. But first to create that filter, I need a list, a drop down list. So to create that, let me select this entire data set and try and get the unique countries. So I select it and I paste it here. To get a unique list, go to data and in here you have this option remove duplicates click on this this opens the room the remove duplicates dialog box and it gives you a list of columns here I only have one which is column D so it's already selected so I click OK and this removes all the duplicate duplicates values and I only have eight unique values or eight unique countries here now I can go here to I2 and create a data validation drop down list. I go to data and in data I have data validation. In the data validation dialog box within settings you go to this drop down and select list and in source you go and select the unique list of countries that you extracted. And click OK. Now I have this drop down list with unique country names. Let me give it a thick border so that I don't lose track of it. Now to do what I've just shown you I would need three helper columns so let me show you what these helper columns would do. In the first helper column I need the row number for each of these cells so this would be row number one for my data set this would be row number two this would be row number three so to do this you can either manually hard code it or even better use this formula rows rows formula takes the input as this array and it returns the number of rows between these two cell references so for between d4 and d4 there is only one row I will lock this first D4 by pressing F4 from my keyboard and when I enter this this gives me one because from D4 to D4 I only have one row but when I drag this down this would get incremented by one because here from D4 to D5 I have two rows now I will create a helper column 2 in this helper column I only want those row numbers which matches the country which I select here in I2. So for example if here in I2 I select India then in this helper column I only want those row numbers 
which have India as their country. So I would want 1 and 5 and 8 and 13 and 20. So to do that I would use a simple if condition. In if I first test a condition and my condition is that this selected country and I will lock I2 uh, by pressing F4. If this is equal to this country then give me this row number in helper column 1 else give me a blank cell and I press enter and this returns a 1 because this country matches my selected country and I can drag this down and you can see it only returns those row number where the country matches the country I've selected here so 5 has India 8 has India 13 has India and 20 has India now I would create a third helper column and here I want all these numbers stacked up together so I don't want these gaps in between I want these numbers one uh, one at a time so I should have one here five here eight here 13 here and 20 here so to do that I would use small formula small formula takes two arguments first is the array and k k is the uh, smallest number that you want to return so if I give this array and I give k as 1 then this would give me the first smallest value if I give k as 2 then this that would give me the second smallest value so I select this entire array and I lock it by pressing F4 and now if I give 1 as k then this returns 1 because 1 is the first smallest value but I don't want to hard code this here so instead of doing it I would use the rows formula again and here I would lock F4 here by pressing F4 and I would have F4 again and I'll close this now if I drag it down I would have all these numbers stacked up here because 1 is the first smallest number, 5 is the second smallest number in this array, 8 is third, 13 is fourth smallest and 20 is fifth smallest. But I have a number error here because there is no sixth smallest number. So to remove this error I can use if error. If error, if there is no error then this is the value but in case there is an error then it should return a blank cell so I can just drag this down and all the error values are gone now I would use this helper column to give me a, an extracted result in some other locations so let me copy these headers and put it here here I would use a simple index formula where this takes three arguments it takes uh, an array so my array would be this entire data set because this is what I want here I would lock this by pressing F4 I would need a row number which is in helper column 3 so since India is selected these are those numbers which represent the row number which has India and hence I'm referencing to these helper these numbers in helper column 3 so I would give this cell reference G4 but I would lock it uh, so I press F4 thrice and I lock it going to the right and in column number for product name this is my column number and this is the first column in my array this is the second column this is the third column so I can use either one or I can use the columns formula this is similar to the rows formula and just works while going uh, right or left so I use J4 is to J4 which has one column in it so it returns a one and I lock J4 by pressing F4 here and I close this now when I drag this down it gives me 
the data set which has India in it but it's also giving me a value error because after 20 there is no row number for this index formula so this the this refers to G9 but there is nothing in G9 so this returns a value error again to handle this error I would use if error this is my value if there is no error but in case there is an error then I give it a blank now this should work and I can drag the same formula to the right and it gives me this extracted result for India to make it look good I can give it a border and now you have your list ready you can hide this data set if you want and now when you change these countries so if I change it to China then all the records for China get extracted here and you can see all the work being done here in the helper columns for example I select US then all the results for US gets highlighted here get extracted here that's it for this video I hope you found this useful for more such tips and tricks on Excel visit my website www.trumpexcel.com or subscribe to this channel on YouTube thank you and have a nice day